Hello, I'm Janine McTasney. I am a nipple and areola tattooist for post-mastectomy patients. Today I am uh, working at a clinic and where I just got a piece of skin from a surgical site and I wanted to demonstrate what happens when we actually implant needles into the tissue. So on the skin here, there's some arrows and the arrows are from a C-section scar from years past. So this is skin from the abdomen and typically in a deep flap procedure, we, uh, the physicians will take the skin from this area here and put it onto the breast. So as a tattooist, we do see the stretch marks and so on. And then there's a scar here which the arrows are showing. It's actually a pretty good scar. And I'm gonna go ahead and implant some ink into it and see what happens. Then I'm gonna actually do a cross section uh, with a scalpel to see exactly where the ink is going into the tissue. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, it's always a curiosity because we're si simply working blind into the tissue. So this is a 1001 needle configuration and we typically will do pointillism or um, a pixelation. So I'm going to actually just stretch the skin here and then just do some some tracks here. And we'll see how deep we are penetrating into the skin. Let's do a little bit more here. So this is pointillism. And then I'm gonna actually do a three point stretch and a little pixel here. So this is the pixel technique is um, a very light dusting onto the tissue. And so I'm not really even penetrating, but we're going to take a scalpel and slice it and see where it is. So you see I have left an imprint. So now I'm going to switch and I'm gonna use a seven round shader and see what the shading is going to do on the tissue. So stretching the skin like I would on a regular person. Just doing some circles. And then I'll wipe that clean. I am using a, a dark brown ink from Waverly and I don't, I wouldn't naturally, I wouldn't tattoo it this way. This is really for demonstration. So I'm just doing a little bit of a saturation here so we can see, that looks good. And now this is a seven round liner and it's an 08, so it's kind of a skinny needle configuration. And so I'm just gonna make a line here We'll go up here. Yeah, the smaller the needle configuration, typically the more concentrated the color will be. And then my next needle configuration is an 0815 rounded magnum. And typically I would use this to do the perimeter of the areola. And just kind of scoot around as though I'm actually doing an areola.
I'm going to do actually one more little pass on this here. Try to concentrate a little more color so when I actually cut the skin in half, I can see how deep the ink is in the tissue. Okay. So I've changed my needle. I'm now using a 1017 rounded magnum. This one was a little bit smaller. This is a 15. And uh, I'll go for this and see. well done. So now I'm going to actually do a little micro blade. And so I'm going to just kind of Okay, so now I've got some micro blades. And so let's do a, a slice here. The seven round shader didn't pass the epidermal layer. So the pixelation actually did not even penetrate past the epidermal layer. The one that I did pointillism on Actually, I'm going to make it a little deeper cut there. The one actually went past the epidermal. It's right at the epidermal dermal ridge. The liner stayed up in the epidermis. The microblades are much more shallow than the shader the pixelation, we're still the deepest with the pointillism and the number one. This is a 15 Magnum, still staying at the upper levels. Seventeen Magnum, still staying at the upper levels. So the interesting thing about all this is that our skin right here, just this cross section, just this piece of skin right here, the, I'm gonna actually give a deeper cut in here. The thickness of this skin right here we're not penetrating very deep at all. So when I learned permanent cosmetics, I was told that to put your needle in the skin, the thickness of a dime. Well, if I did that, it would be probably right too low in the, sk in the skin. So very interesting study today. Pointillism goes the deepest. Everything else is just in that top level layer of the skin. So now I'm actually going to take a look at scar tissue here for a second. So this is a pretty good scar. I don't see good scars like this often. 
but we can see it's just a thicker ridge there. You can see it's right here. So I'll do a cross section of that scar. It's just a thicker bundle of fibers. So the interesting component is I will needle that scar. And when I needle a scar, I'm fairly aggressive. I'm confident and aggressive. So scar tissue essentially is like the gristle in steak. It's dense fibrous tissue that kind of has a mind of its own. So if I just pick a spot here, let's see, we'll do right here. You can see it's right there. So I just needle it. There's no blood supply, obviously, because this is just a piece of skin now. So normally I would get a little bit of bleeding and it kind of looks like a little petechiae. And so, hard to demonstrate on a piece of skin, but it does feel smoother. So when we needle, we can go this way, across the scar, using a circular pattern. And we can also go on the scar this way, in a back and forth pendulum type of pattern. And then as you feel that scar, you can feel that scar bundle relax. And that's it for today.